so at the topic of uh, continuity first uh, i want to explain the different uh, definitions of the continuity and the function f is continuous continuous means it's a continuation of flow there will be no gap no discontinuousness so at a point x equals to a and the following are true first one is if a is defined first is if a is defined next there's a point a already defined at the graph next is limit fx exist limit extending to a means x forwarding to a towards a it's going to fx this is the function this is exist then the curve start like this from here it is self started and this is the continuous at the point of a it's going through so at that point if that means at that point x equals to a that function f function that is the graph functions that is f is continuous when f a is defined and unit extends to a fx exist next is f extending to a fx equals to f a means at the point of when x towards x towards a is going then that time fx equals to f a if we put the value of a at the function fx we will get the same value of the limit function of extending to a fx now i am coming to an example that at which value of x is given function this continuous when it will be discontinuous or continuous and taken a function fx equals to x equals to x plus 2 it's continuous everywhere how how is for checking for checking purpose we can do whatever by the definition x tending to a x plus 2 we have taken if we put that x tending to a that value into x that time you will get x equals to a plus 2 now and so x tending to a fx equals to f a if we put fx equals to a means f of a at the position of x if we put it a so we will get a plus 2 similarly this is the function value limit value also a plus 2 so this condition also satisfied so this is the curve of the function fx x plus 2 it's a linear linear curve that's why it's straight line next at the similar way i'm taking another function that is gx gx equals to x square minus 9 divided by x plus 3 so this function has has defined continuous is everywhere if you put any value any value except except x equals to minus 3 if we put x equals to minus 3 that time f of x will be undefined because minus 3 plus 3 in the denominator it will be zero if it is zero something by zero always undefined so that is the i've written that x equals to minus 3 already undefined if it is undefined so it is not continuous in the next slide i am going to explain another example that is hx equals to x plus 2 and 1 where two conditions has given when x greater than 1 and another one is x less than equals to 1 so i have taken the left hand left hand limit that is x x tending to 1 minus a 1 minus means less than 1 left hand limit it is called left hand limit now it is equals to 1 since it has given x 1 minus 1 minus means x less than 1 means its negative value means less than of one value that is 1 minus so its value is already given is 1 that's why i have taken 1 so so this is the things i have taken 1 so next thing and i have taken x 1 plus that is right hand limit limit extending to 1 plus hx 1 plus means more than 1 that means x greater than 1 value so x plus 2 is the function so if we take it down x plus 2 so and put x tending to 1 over here so 1 plus 2 is 3 so we have got two limit over here it is for 1 minus and for 1 plus now this is not continuous why because you have we have like already explained that both of side which should be equal but it is not equal one portion is 1 another one is 3 so they are not equal so it's not continuous so 
h is continuous everywhere else two position you can see at the curve this two area this two area is not continuous so at the position of x equals to 1 this is not continuous the rest of the part everywhere is continuous another example i have taken that is fx equals to minus 1 if x less than equal to 0 and plus 1 if x greater than 0 so similar way for 0 plus means right hand limit and we will check for left hand limit as well as so right hand limit we have got we have got one thing that is fx equals to 1 since right hand limit 0 plus so x greater than 0 that value will come out so next one is 0 minus fx that is minus 1 they are also not equal so f is not continuous at x equals to 0 similarly you can check the graph at the graph you can check sorry in the graph you can check that at the position of this means the position of this 0 position x equals to 0 this is not continuous rest of the part everywhere is continuous in the next slide continuous function f and g are continuous at x equals to a there are two functions we have considered f and g then we can see that f plus minus g f dot g mean multiplication divisions when g a not equal to 0 why g a not equal to 0 because we already have said that something divided by 0 is undefined so we should not make it an undefined things are continuous at x equals to a x equals to a then it's a polynomial function y equals to px is continuous at every point x next is a rational function rx px by qx that is f by g that is the rational function is continuous at every point of x in its domain next thing is intermediate value theorem there is another important theorem in continuity if f is a continuous function on a closed interval a b closed interval means these two points are included a and b are included closed interval and l is another number just a number between f a and f b then there is at least one number c in a b such that f c equals to a so if we try to define by graph check it down there is graph y equals to fx i have taken then the point is a is here fa this is point fa it's a slightly different uh, but this is the point fa to, to understand next is b point we have chosen so if we choose here is fb so this is the fa and fb towards this direction and ab interval interval has included this direction so now there is a point L. We have already said that L is any number between F A and F B. You see, F A and F B there is any number L. So next, this point is coming between A and B. So there exists one number C in A in two interval A and B. Closed interval A and B such that if C equals to L. Understand? This is the theorem. So then example fx equals to 3x square minus 2x minus 5 show that fx equals to 0 has a solution on 1, 2. We have to show it. For that purpose, first is given 1 and 2. So we will put it down at the position of x equals to 1. We have got minus 4 that is less than 0. And at the position of x equal put 2, if we put it and calculate it, you will get 3, that is greater than 0. So, 1 is less than 0, another one is greater than 0. So, there will be a solution. Since there is a less than 0 and greater than 0, so fx is continuous polynomial since f1 is less than 0 and f2 is greater than 0. By intermediate value theorem, there exists a c12. 1, 2. 1, 2 means a closed interval, which is already defined over here, closed interval, as per the theorem, such that f of c f of c equals to 0 now in coming to the defensibility that is the small introduction so small parts of the uh, continuity part and the more examples if we can do it in that part in the lecture in the next time 
uh, in the defensibility first we are going to start with the defensive thing the function must be continuous and smooth so why i have started from the continuity to get the help in defensibility because it's a connecting connecting channel without continuous things we cannot go to the defensibility things so that's why i have chosen continuity and defensibility both of the things to explain it better now in the continuous part this is a function i have chosen that x is cube plus 1 and 2x x is cube plus 1 when x less than equals to 1 and 2x when x greater than 1 it's continuous or not so as per the theorem uh, we have explained that i have give you the examples also how to how to uh, collect this is continuous or not the same way we will do that so for left hand side limit as usual fx and one less than means less than of one value one negative so like x less than one so we have chosen x cube plus 1 If we put x equals to one, we'll get two value. Next, right hand limit x plus one. That is a f x. Sorry, x equals to one plus one plus means more than one. So, do, what is the value one plus one? More than one. This is x equals to one. So, this is two x. If we put two x, now put one. So, two. So, for left hand limit equal to two, right hand limit also equal to two. So, both of the limit are equal. Now, coming to the graph point. Okay. I have chosen a graph. Check it down. So answer is yes. These are continuous because left hand limit and right hand limit are equal. Next, we are coming to by definition. What is derivative? That is most important part over here. What is derivative? The limit. In limit, how you are explaining the things that it's h tending to zero. F x plus h minus f x divided by h. This is one definition. Another open definition is x tending to a f x minus f a by x minus a. Any one you can choose it. This is the another both part. This is explained. If you put x plus h equals to something a or x or a plus h equals to x, you will get the transformation results. So these are changing of limit. It's the same value means the value meaning of that part is same. So why you need to keep it definition? The definition because uh, sometimes we are shortcut on the derivative. The definitions is very important. Sometimes we forgot, we forget to uh, the value of the derivative. Uh, sometimes we need it. So that time definition will be helpful to take it out the exact value. Differentiable also means the left and right limit of the derivative are equal. Okay, I've taken a function, the same function. Okay, so in the same way. Now we have to want to check it. Like last time we check it for continuous. Next year, next we will check it for uh, one. Means uh, it is defensible or not. That's the same point. So at the limit, so and uh, uh, for the left hand left hand derivative, that this is called left hand derivative. Why left hand derivative? Last time we were choosing limit x tending to one minus one power minus f x. Now it is f dash x. This dash is a symbol for derivative. This is called first order derivative. So, limit x tending to one minus f dash x equals to limit x tending to one minus. As, as per the definition, if we go at the definition, it has limit of this. So, next is the you can see f x minus f one divided by x minus one. Like x tending to a f x minus f a by x minus a. Okay. So next is is coming see fx what is the value of fx for 1 minus means less than 1 so x is cube plus 1 okay now minus 2 minus 2y less than equal to 1 equal to 1 if we put equal to 1 it is coming 1 plus 1 is 2 so f of 1 is 2 okay now x minus 1 as usual there is no change of over here so x minus 1 oh above is fx and we have got it from here f of 1 we have got it from here so i have put it down okay next is calculation so x is cube minus 1 divided by x minus 1 now this is coming x minus 1 x is square plus 1 plus this after the calculation check it down it's cancel and if we put x equals to 1 over here you will get 3 okay now limit 1 minus f dash x f dash x 1 minus means once again so we have got it 
a limit only exists if its left and right hand limits are equal so next we can check it for the right hand limit means for 1 plus now check it down for 1 plus for 1 plus f dos x, f dos x the same way x tending to 1 plus fx minus f1 divided by x minus 1 now 1 plus means x greater than 1 so which value you will take this value 2x value so next check it what i have written 2x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 next step 2 is common if we take 2 is common then x minus 1 x minus 1 will be cancel out after the cancellation you have got 2 so 1 plus means right hand limit right hand derivative right hand derivative means f dash x we have got for 1 plus 2 and before we had this one f dash x 3 so these are not equal these and these are not equal since they are not equal so differential condition is not satisfying that is differentiable at 1 answer will be no they are not differentiable this is the curve the curve is things notice that on the left side the slope is approaching 3 and where the right hand slope is approaching to 2 so these are not differentiable another function we have chosen that is fx equal to x square and 2x minus 1 for x square conditions as given x less than equals to 1 and x greater than 1 first of all the function continuous or not for checking check it down already continuous since fx equals to x square x less than 1 and x to x minus 1 they are continuous so checking has been done so next if we check it down for derivative also differentiable or not now i i did it directly in the differentiation different derivative things i have not calculated for differentiation thing so it was already come to over here if we check it out check out the points it will be already come to here the answer will be yes this is also differentiable so derivative will fail to exist there are some examples which is given that is fx equal to mod of x next is fx equal to x to the power 2 by 3 and vertical tangent which is given graph that is cube root of x and some discontinuity these are the things which has been explained uh, in the differentiable case as well as the continuous case we have explained it uh, so everything we have got one conclusion that if f has a derivative at x equals to a then f is definitely continuous at x equals to a so derivative is satisfied means already continuous but if it is all the time continuous then there definitely it may not be derivative differentiable so that conditions and everything more more chapters are there which we can explain in the classroom at a time everything is not possible so next i am coming to another important theorem that is uh, intermediate value theorem for derivative uh, like for continuity we have checked that intermediate value theorem for continuity the similar way there is a theorem for derivative also if a and b are two points in the interval on which f is differentiable then f dash takes on every value between f dash a and uh, f dash b so f dash a and f dash b means they are differentiable conditions they are differentiable condition at the point of a and b curve also given let us check the curve, curve. that is f dash equals to half f dash b equal to 3 so their f dash must take on every value between half and 3 so thank you thank you for looking at the slide and my small demonstration class and i hope uh, you may like it and if uh, i'll come to the classroom maybe i can explain more more things uh, right now just i have given that my demonstration class the small demonstration let's see i hope you will like it maybe okay thank you thanks a lot i appreciate your concern thank you bye bye